big steeper slope to slide off. Right? So here, I want to cat back, stay pressured back here as much as I can. And then when I'm rolling or hit my butt and circling, I'm gonna I'm gonna go forward. But I have to I have to keep my pressure back first so that I can get my cat back here, pressure back, knee slot, knee third, hip hop, sir. Here, boot up, and if he goes, so if this is specifically important when he goes to that power back, right? If he goes to that power back here, I have to cat back, pressure back. And see how it, what that does to him? See how he kind of slides forward? Just with that motion, yeah? And I want to get him here so that when I go bump or I go to hit my hip, I get that space, right? If I'm just sitting here kind of flat and then trying to do all this stuff, he's not going to slide off like he should. <laughs> the last thing I want to touch on is, is anticipation, okay? I need to anticipate what he's going to do, okay? When he goes for that drape cradle, as soon as I feel him coming parallel with me and, and that hand come from crossbody up to my head, like right where that, where he can, right that neck, that neck, and then the nook of my neck there, I need to be ready to catch that hand. And the same goes for that power back, right? If I'm here and I have that up, I have to know that he's gonna look for that. And as soon as he looks for it, I clamp down, right? Clamp down, I can't let him suck me back, get me back here, and get me extended. I see that a lot of times happen. So if I'm up here, and I'm not anticipating him going for this power nap, and he pulls me back that way, boom, this is what happens, right? We end up here, even before he hits that power, that short boot in, he's just stretching me, and then the short boot comes in, now I can't reach him, right? Now he's taking the other. <laughs> so I have to stay tight, I have to anticipate that power nap. So when he throws that boot in, and I catch it, and I get it up here, and I know that power hack's coming, I'm, I'm tight, I'm in good position here, and he's trying to yank me, he can try to crank that power hack all he wants, but I'm not going back. I'm not pulling him back, with, I'm not going back with him. So then what's he gonna do? He's gonna throw that, that foot up to try to force me to stretch. That's when I catch it, and now I'm in. Cut to the waist, okay? So I really want to address anticipation, and I really wanted to just review a little bit. One thing I felt like some of the guys, you guys weren't getting, was that bump. All right. So I, I think the bump is really important, especially with that drape cradle when you get that arm trapped over here, because it's not really going to be feasible for you to hit your butt like this when you can't, when you have to keep that arm in control, right? So what you really want to have with, this, with that drape cradle is this bump. And all it is is just, just a little push into it, okay? So I'm here, push up, and think about it almost as like a, like a penetration. I push, and I slide my knee, all right? Push, slide my knee. That's all I need to get him to fall off. So he gets that boot in, here, he's looking for that drape cradle here, I track, and I bump him, all right? I bump him, maybe drop down to this, and then shoulder roll. Head hunt, bump, head hunt, bump, bump. Does that all make sense to you guys? So I just want to review this one more time, really quick, give them the last little bit of uh, rear standing, map turn defense stuff. I'll be done with that. Sound good? All right, let's get it. Ready, one, two.